Then came the war. In 32 nations, the armies were mobilized, millions of men, armies so vast that Alexander or Caesar or Napoleon would have gasped. And not a man joining his colors heard the faintest hint that the supreme sacrifice he might make was for the liberty of women. Not a general issuing his command dreamt that women would benefit from the triumph of his army. Not an order all the world around exhorting his people to patriotic faith in the glorious aims of his nation said aught about women's hopes. Not a woman bending over the sick beds of wounded soldiers from the Thames to the Volga, or sewing, knitting, serving the Red Cross, or selling bonds at home, thought of any reward for their sex. Yes, so infinitely vaster than the comprehension of man are the ways of God that the greatest thing that came out of the war was the emancipation of women, for which no man fought. War subjected women, and war liberated them. Let me tell you about someone recently brought to my attention who was always there. She is always there. You might be surprised a man is wondering what a woman does in her day, but he needs to see. That's the point you see. And in 1918, this is what he might see. She works on cars, puts her back into the bars to draw a bridge high. As a post goes sailing by, has a locomotive knack. She walks along the track, she's a section and ain't that supposed to be a man. And she'll take your cash, give your ticket in a flash, send a telegram home. She'll operate the phone, get up early with the cows, cry the metal for the plows, load the cargo on the boat, but she doesn't get to vote. Do you think he sees her that? Do you think he is aware? She buys the clothes and she sews up all the holes, hangs her food pledge card, plants a garden in the yard, pays the bills on time, keeps a bank account in line, gets a baby to nap, locates daddy on a map, and brings the doctor in for a full examining. She holds her boy tight when he cries at night, and all his 18th year, with laughter and with tears, praise to God and more, they don't send him to the war. You think he sees her then? Do you think he is so wet? Do you think he notices she's gone? Alright, take it around.
clean shrapnel shards and it's gonna leave a scar. She talks to the boys, seems to bring a lot of joy. She writes letters for them with a paper and a pen and when their eyes go dim, calls the chaplain in. She helps him learn how a soldier can return to a civilian life with his children and his wife. No bombs are there, there's no reason to be scared. She lets it be known what it means to be at home. You think she sees her that? Do you think he is a 